Hey there, Julian from MemberStack here, and in this video, I want to show you how to get started with a project using MemberStack and Wizd. And this is not going to be the most complicated video by any means, but I think it's a good thing to do just so that you know you're not missing anything and kind of the best way to go ahead and get started. So anyways, without further ado, first things first, you need obviously to have a Webflow project and... I personally always start from the client first clonable. It gives me everything that I need to get started. I'm super used to the framework and that's about it, but you don't need to do this. It's purely how you want to go about starting your Webflow project. So, so let's just go ahead and do that now and let's call it my Wizd app. So got to click clone in Webflow, create your site and then, oh, don't want that. my wizd app and let's hit create site so now this is going to make our webflow project of course and the next thing that we're going to want to do is go ahead and go into member stack so here we are and let's go ahead and just click new app so i've already obviously created an account with these things but you know that's pretty self-explanatory so let's call this my wizd app again Keep Webflow selected there. We're not starting from a template, so let's leave that blank and let's click Create App. So first thing we need to do here is install the MemberStack script. And you may or may not want to do this depending on whether or not you want to utilize the native MemberStack script or if you want to do everything through Wizd. Personally, I recommend getting started with the MemberStack script. It's going to make your setup a whole bunch easier and then you can just switch to doing everything natively through Wizd if you need to when the time comes. So the next thing that you're gonna wanna do is add the member stack script. So I'm using the FinSuite Chrome extension so that I don't need to go into the site settings, but I'm gonna actually go ahead and go into the site settings now just because that's kind of the standard way. And if you don't have the Chrome extension, which I highly recommend you getting, um, this is how you would go ahead and do it. Add it right there in the head code hit save, and then you're going to want to publish your site. But while I'm here, what I'm gonna do is get my URL. So let's go ahead and hit publish to selected domains. And then let's grab that domain right there and then go into Wizd and let's hit new project. Paste that staging domain in, Wizd will clean it up automatically. Then you're gonna wanna copy this Go back into your app and then paste it right below the member stack script. Then you're going to want to publish that. So let's do it. And then we should be able to hit create project. So now what we have is the Wiz configurator is good to go. Our member stack script is installed. We should be able to see. Oh, okay. Well, I need to go ahead and copy this right here, back on into member stack, paste it in, hit test install code, and we should be able to see that the install code is working. So now we have that and the app is created, the app is ready to go, it's ready to have whatever it is that we want going on it. So the next thing that I'm going to mention is just kind of the basics. So what that would be is signing up and logging in. So let's go ahead just for ease of use and go to our components here in member stack. And as we can see, there is a whole bunch of stuff that we can choose from. So let's go ahead and grab this one right here with these tabs, hit copy component, and then let's go back over here into Webflow and just paste that component in. Then we're gonna be able to log in and sign up. So here we are, let's just go ahead and delete everything just to make our lives a bit easier. There we go, doesn't look great, but that's not the point of this video because I just pasted it into a blank screen. So now let's go ahead and make a new page and let's call it success. Just like that, parent folder none. And let's just put a header in that page and say, you're in. There we go. Now let's go ahead and publish that. And while we're waiting, let's go into member stack and click plans. And this is where we're going to set our redirects. So in this case, let's not work with any plans or anything. Let's just edit the default settings right here. Sign up on purchase, redirect to success, and on login, redirect to success. 
So let's save that. And then now we can see that this has published. Let's go ahead and just refresh. So we're already on the sign up tab. Let's just go ahead and enter some stuff in and hit sign up. Okay, well, it seems like I did not use the correct sign up form. I forgot that one had some scripts attached in order to make it work. So instead, let's go ahead and grab this one right here. Copy component. Let's go back over onto our homepage. Let's get rid of that. And let's paste this in. Now let's go ahead and publish that. Let's make sure our attributes are in. Yes, they are. Now let's go ahead and refresh. So we're already on the sign up tab. Enter some stuff in and hit submit. So there we go. Now we are signed in and let's go ahead into WIST over here and just refresh the canvas and take a look at how everything looks. So now what I'm gonna do is go ahead and add a new app. So let's call it member stack select member stack and then we need our public key so we're going to go back into member stack go to dev tools and we're going to grab that public key which is going to be right here paste that in and there we go and now let's do a request to get the current member so let's call this ms get member select member stack and then do get member so now we're gonna to wanna to trigger that on page load. And I'll explain why we're doing all of this in just a second. So let's again call this MS get member type event page starts loading perform request MS get member all is saved. There we go. So now let's go ahead and refresh and let's keep an eye on our data store right here. As we can see right now, it's saying none. It was completed, but there's no data. That's because we're not actually logged in here in this whiz window. So now let's go ahead and do that. Enter some stuff. Hit submit, and then there we go. Now, as we can see, if I load a page, every single time the page is loaded, this is completed. And... This is great because it gives us everything. It gives us the member's email, their custom fields, their metadata, their Stripe customer ID, their redirects, literally gives us everything. So we can use this in Wiz to do whatever it is that we want. If we want to update certain things about the member, no matter what it is that we want to do, we can use this. And that in a nutshell is basically how you get your project set up. Now that you have this, you need to start looking at your actual login flow, your actual sign up flow, what's going to happen in the app, how you're interacting with member stack, how you're interacting with WIST, blah, 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 blah. The list goes on. But you now have a good starting point in just a few minutes. So I hope this helped. Let me know if there's anything else that you want to see. The competition has just begun today on May 29th. So there's going to be a whole bunch of videos coming out. I'll talk to you soon and have a great day.